In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Did you hear that? The name of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. These aren't just words, and this isn't just a random name like, like George or Jim Bob. No, this is God's name being in your ears so that you can be reminded of the goodness of God that started at your baptism because it's there that a pastor, maybe the same one that serves you uh, in the divine service each week and, or maybe a different one, in your baptism, he traced the sign of the cross on your forehead and on your heart to mark you as one redeemed by Christ the crucified. And when the divine service starts by calling on and invoking the name of God, then it's a reminder, oh, this is a continuation of my baptized life. This is more of what God is doing for me. My baptism didn't stop. It's still going on. Every time I come into the divine service and every time I hear God's word and get his gifts, he continues to make my baptism continue to stretch out and expand and fill me with his baptismal grace and love. And so we gather here in the church, the congregation of the baptized, being reminded of that name. And so when you hear that name, if you want to trace the cross on yourself in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, knock yourself out. If you don't want to, because it's kind of weird, that's okay too. Just, the only rule is, you're not allowed to pick on somebody for making the sign of the cross or for not making the sign of the cross. But rest assured, the cross of Jesus is on you because Jesus put it there. If you trace it or not, that's up to you. But the gift of God's love from the cross for you, his forgiven sinner, that, thanks be to God, is not optional.